Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. Today, let's make use of copy and paste functions in Google Docs. Copy and paste functions in Google Docs are basically no different from those in Mac OS and Windows. Except that here it is made through Google Docs' own context menu. Nothing complicated though. And here we're going to take advantage of these commands. As usual, you highlight the part of text that you want to copy. Then we put the cursor over the highlighted data. Left mouse click on it to bring up a context menu. Now looking for copy at the top and pressing it. Your basic copy function. Or you do it with a keyboard shortcut. So once again, select the text you want to copy. But this time press Ctrl plus C on a keyboard for Windows or Command plus C for Mac. Now the copy data is in the computer's clipboard and you can paste it. For that, place the insertion point to where you want to insert your data. Left mouse click for a context menu and the line with paste should be right below the copy. Here it is and we click on it. Now here is the inserted data. As well as for the copy function, we have a shortcut for the paste, which is Ctrl plus V for Windows and Command plus V for Mac. Here you have it, but that's not all. And you can also cut the data by highlighting it, bringing up a context menu and clicking on the cut on top. This command will delete the selected data, but at the same time it will save it to a computer's clipboard, so you can paste it later. And the last thing I want to mention, frequently when you copy and paste the data into a Google Doc or moving it over multiple documents, you might face that the function also inserts the original formatting and puts it like that, while you need the content to take the formatting of your current document. To do that, put the insertion point to where you want the data to appear. Bring up a context menu with left mouse click and here we locate and press paste without formatting. Or do it with a shortcut, which is Ctrl plus Shift plus V for Windows or Ctrl plus Shift plus V for Mac. Regardless of the original data formatting, it will take your current document's form. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.